Hudson Yards, the largest and most expensive private real estate development in U.S. history, will open this Friday. CBSN New York producer Mary McGeever got a glimpse into the project before it opens. Now, Mary, people have said Hudson Yards feels like a city within a city. Did it feel like that to you when you were there? Absolutely. The whole goal is that you stay there. You live <laughs> there, you work there, you play there. You, you never shop. have to leave. <laughs> you never have to leave. And it's true. You, you don't have to leave outside. There's no walls, but um, it is sort of a self-contained community that offers everything that you could possibly want. So what are some of the shops and amenities that it has there? Yeah, so there is a one million square feet of shopping. And, and restaurants, so, so retail wow. and shopping. There's over 100 stores, everything from Sephora and Zara to Cartier. There's uh, great restaurants, uh, Wild wow. Inc. A lot of new chefs are coming to this neighborhood, um, and it's all self-contained in a seven-story uh, vertical space. That's very cool, very clean, very new. Um, if you're familiar at all with the Time Warner Center, this mm -hmm. is this is Time Warner, but on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're in it, does it feel like you're still in New York, or do you feel like you're in some kind of like future city? Uh, you know what? It's like the best and most amazing shopping mall in New Jersey <laughs> or Florida. Um, so, so it doesn't a feel escape. like you're, yeah. It doesn't feel like you're in the city, but it does feel like you're in the best of the best, and it's super clean and super bright. Uh, wow. It's it's beautiful. Uh, everything about it is really lovely and very inviting. So. I mean, all the all the videos and the renderings that I've seen, I mean, it looks breathtaking. Yeah, and it's expensive. You will ha <laughs> you will pay. Um, the residents go up to thirty two million dollars for the penthouse, um, and it's a they're absolutely gorgeous. They have ten foot ceilings, so wow. you have these sweeping views of the city. You can see all the way down to the Statue of Liberty. Um, wow. Every amenity they have their you have your own wine cellar. You can <laughs> you can rent part of a wine cellar if you, you want. You don't even need the shops. You can no, just stay inside. Exactly. <laughs> and then of course they have uh, the latest technology. So you use your app to make reservations at a restaurant or to open your door. Um, the whole idea is that this is very advanced, um, very clean, very easy living, and wow. they they do certainly deliver. It's. Not anything like we're used to in New York City, but we might get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> it it's, it's the future of it. Now, yeah. you talked a little bit about the prices. How are the apartments selling, and who's buying them? The first residential building is done, 15 Hudson Yards. It's absolutely beautiful. It's 60% sold already. Wow. Yeah, wow, so they that's have great. 30 tenants. I think they're closing on 30 apartments uh, this month alone. Mm -hmm. um, so what they told us, um, the, the, the condos are being bought by people who live in Connecticut, live in New Jersey, live on Long Island, and are looking for second homes. Um, okay. And then the, the rest of the 30% are, are outside buyers from other countries looking to invest in New York City. So for these, the shops there and just the whole campus there basically, if I walked over there, if I set foot there, what's going to be the first thing that, that strikes me, the first thing that hits me about the space? That's the vessel. So in the center of this 20 plus acre plot mm -hmm. um, is this massive structure that looks like a beehive. Yes, um, we've been seeing it build over the yeah, past couple of years. And they, they want this to be better than the Eiffel Tower. They want this to be <laughs> better than the Christmas tree at Rockefeller Center to draw um, tourists to Hudson Yards. The mm -hmm. idea is that you can climb it. There's 2,500 steps, so wow. if you're, you know, you need to get your steps in for a day, head down there, <laughs> and you can certainly do it. Um, Is there an elevator? <laughs> no, you got to walk it, but you don't have to go all the way up. And there are, I think, 85 landings in total. Uh, so with each, you know, st step stair that you climb, you can stop at a landing and sort of look out and see. Um, the beautiful view of the Hudson River, mm -hmm. New Jersey, and then obviously also the entire project below you. So, 
Um, it's it's beautiful. It's all of it. Uh, it was designed by a British designer. It was all made in uh, Italy and mm. then shipped over to the United States. In fact, um, our editor Tiffany Duncan was coming over to work one day and she saw um, big pieces of the vessel going down the Hudson River oh, wow. on ships as it was being brought to the space to be assembled. So, wow. Yeah. I, mean, we, I mean, we've seen how much of a draw like the High Line has been for that area that I'm sure people will be lining up to walk that as well. People yeah. want to walk around and see the views. And the High Line uh, actually goes right into the to Hudson Yards. Oh, so, well, perfect. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like so, I designed it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty cool. You know, you're walking on the High Line and then boom, you're right in the middle of this wow. incredible project and you can go shop and eat, you can have a picnic. I mean, it, it, they really do want New York to be able to use it. You might mm -hmm. not be able to live there because the prices are pretty hefty, but you know, like Central Park, they want people to come and, and use the space. But all are welcome. Mm -hmm. So yeah. now if it opens on Friday, does that mean project's done? No. Um, in fact, when we were there last week, I, we, Christine and I were saying we can't imagine the project being done for this Friday. Wow. Um, a lot of work to do. There's 20,000 workers working around the clock, uh, getting everything ready. Um, th this is phase one that's going to be done, okay. that you can come down and see. Phase two will be started, I think, next year. Okay. And that's going to include even more. They're going to have a school eventually. They're going to have more uh, residences. The, the the second phase will have affordable housing, so you won't have to pay six million plus to get an apartment there. They'll actually have some affordable rentals as wow. well. So it's a big new addition um, to New York City. I think uh, you have to be down there to see it because it's kind of hard to imagine. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a big, big, big public square surrounded by these glass buildings and. Um, and there's a lot to offer. There's going to be art installations. Um, there's the shed. That's another component of it, which is uh, the first new uh, arts center in the city since Lincoln Center. And that oh, was wow. actually built in 1962. So all these years later, we now have the shed, and they'll have every kind of imaginable uh, performance. They'll have ballets, and they'll have pop, and they'll have rock, and they'll have, you know, uh, symphonies. And so art installations, it's, it's going to be uh, quite interesting. It has also a retractable roof, so mm -hmm. it can... When it rains, you can still enjoy. Right, exactly. Well, I mean, all New Yorkers just always say they want more space, they need more space, right? That's what people say. This seems like this is more, this is more space. This is more space to go and to enjoy culture and art and shopping, shopping, eating, <laughs> eat eating. A lot of, lot of uh, food options. And uh, before, the, there really wasn't anything over in that, in that mm -hmm. space. It's, it's just below the Javits Center on the west side in the 30s. So there were a lot of abandoned buildings and parking lots. And, and so they took this area and they, they, you know, they did something with it. And it's, uh, by the way, it's over a working rail yard. So wow. you've got the Long Island Railroad trains coming into the station, the depot, oh. every day after the commute, the morning commute is over, they come in and sit there and they kind of wait and then they go back out for the evening commute. This is all built, believe it or not, on top of that. It's on wow. top of a platform, an incredible platform. Um, and then the city was, the mini city of Hudson Yards was built over that. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty interesting um, architectural feat also to go down and kind of look at that because you can still see the working rail yard below you. Wow. Um, but yeah, the best way to describe it would be Time Warner, but much bigger with so much more to offer. But even more grand. Mm -hmm. Wow, well thank yeah. you Mary, that sounds yeah. really cool. I gotta go check it out. Definitely. It's exciting, the opening on Friday again. And our continuing coverage will be continuing when we come right back.